Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2, Long War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and this is the legendary Iron Man run of Better One of the Mart. Uh, we are in month number 5, still trying to fight pretty hard for South Africa and for West Africa. We're in the liberation of uh, Africa in general. And by the looks of it, we're doing a pretty good job because Advent is pissed. Anyways, one way of dealing with uh, Advent is to reduce the strength, and that's exactly what we're going to do today. Zirkem, the Ranger, has taken a couple of newbies, Salt Specialist, Shinobi, Sharpshooter and Ranger, plus quite literally a rookie, and will lead them onto an ambush uh, mission against 13 to 15 enemies. Let's go. And we landed. Advent typically moves some forces in large groups, but we've located a smaller unit. Which is vulnerable. Is it's a rare opportunity to bring corpses home. And we don't need a second invitation to do that. 13 to 15 enemies. And the target here is pretty simple. Kill everyone. Okay, got our first pack over there. I would say we're fighting from this rooftop here. Aftermath, our sniper is going to move up. Got it covered. That's our rookie. Well, Zirkim gets a great spot up here as well. You know what? Maybe we're taking both sides. Go, go, go. All right, rookie moves up. And last but certainly not least, our specialist. We've got a group of seven this time, pretty large roster. I am not used to those amounts of en uh, of of soldiers. If possible, let's try to kill the spectre right away. Makes it easier to deal with the rest. And this here almost uh, uh, begs for an Overwatch on the prize. Uh, engagement. Ghost moves down here without triggering anything. Can still use run and gun if needed. Rookie moves over here. Another overwatch. Okay. I don't want to use any overwatch here. Zirkim just has way too good of a normal aim. And let's go for the Spectre and hopefully kill it with a nice little... That's 14 points of damage in minimum. That's going to sting. They found us. <laughs> right, right? Yeah, that was good. Okay, pretty damn good. So before we continue, let's hold a target dissected. 
Now the cool part about Zirkim and his high level abilities is he has like a lot of shots. We could rapid shot, but I want to preserve ammunition. Placeable for him. You know what? We're going to stay up here. The only one who keeps moving is our scout. That's two additional packs right there. And let us put everyone Moving to position. kind of in a position where we can overwatch. I'm on it. Whatever you say. Good. Best case, we're going to trigger one additional pack because it kind of runs into our line of sight. Oh boy, I just realized this is an entire pack. Two, four, six, eight enemies. Holy shit. Okay, well, they are running out of out of room. Incoming over here. Why are they even allowed to take shots? I know why they are. It's a rhetorical question. I I can answer that myself. They're allowed to take shots because it's part of the glorious game design. Doesn't mean that I need to like it. And if you continue watching the series, you're going to hear that a few more times. I'm trying to keep the round to a minimum because I, I still am playing the game. Despite knowing about its limitations. Okay, so we got a potential play right here. Probably need to lose our concealment. Hmm, well. It would be really cool to have some cover removal. By the way, we're probably going to use this flashbang here. Yeah, just because it hits five of them. Okay, well, I mean, we are in half cover, there's no way around that. We could run and gun to here, that would be a decent option.
Hmm. Problem is, if we can't kill him with one shot, this might become ugly. So we could easily move to here, take two shots, kill this guy. Let's first of all take a look at the XCOM soldiers that are the first, furthest away. This is great, but I think it is almost lacking line of sight. But we're going to see at least the enemy here, so I prefer full cover for now. We're not in a, in a rush or anything. I was 100% sure that we could have seen him. That it seems to be not the case. Maybe we need to just double move. We don't have ever vigilant. That's a bummer. Rookie moves up here. Could take a few shots. Um, theoretically, can flashbang if needed. Yeah, we're probably, for this one round, we're flashbanging and staying in half cover. Okay, so, easiest targets first. The gunner is a pretty solid kill. And he wouldn't be affected by the flashbang. Come on. That's, it. That's a nice hit. Before we use um, before we use our marking. Let's make sure that we kill the captain. Seventy seven percent. Thanks to his defense, he's really hard to hit. So, what I would want to do is to target him. And let's see if a single shot will be enough to just take him out. The answer is no. which my answer then is, well, it's teamwork. Help. 
We don't need fortify because everyone else is in half cover. Not too shabby. Gonna need to reload soon. Okay. Flashbang is going to be the last thing that we're doing. Zirkim gives himself some fortify. He has two potential targets. Stun Lancer is not our main concern. He's going to be flashbang next turn. We are, since it's a 50 50, we're reloading first. We're green to go. And then using rapid fire. Two shots with 33 are still better than one 45. Plus, we do have chances of getting rid of his cover. Missed both of them, unfortunately. Aftermath gets an 8 protocol. Making it full cover for him. And we're taking a normal shot. Yeah, they won't charge in, so might as well take the shot. 40% is kind of on the edge. I'm normally not taking those, but we didn't have much else that we can do. Body shield. Making it full cover against that one target. And now we're up for a nice flashbang. Is there going to be one that hits everyone plus him? No. That's the best we can do. Hits four targets. At the expense of being spotted out. Moving into full cover for next round for better shots. And I'm okay if they take shots at the rookie. It's a rookie. I love the body shield. Served us pretty well. I can't move. And I love flashbangs. They are working very well. So far, so good. Lots and lots of full cover. Another heavy gunner. You know, in case of doubt, let's take the target with the highest chance to hit. Because that means less chance for grazing shots. Which we don't want to happen. And we got a nice little holo target available. Like the idea of busting that stun lance over there. Also liking the idea of essentially charging back into here, just killing him right away. Putting on up our fortify. I 
Let's see if we can do that. I'll give it a bit more time. First of all, all of the other shots. We get into cover for another flashbang. Gosh, they are hard to hit. 40% is not easy. Okay, so a couple of things to consider, right? Number one, this here would be a great flanking position. Okay, I like it, it's definitely the right approach. Not quite enough movement to get there. Heavy stun answer. You know what? Let's go for the shield bearer first. Sixty percent sounds like a plan. So who has shredding? Zirkim cannot shred uh, him. But we could precision shot. Oh, that's a good idea. If we crit, it could be deadly. Let's try that. Cool. Definitely worth it. Again, the option still remains to simply go to here, kill this guy, leaving three of them alive. We could melee attack one of them and flashback, uh, flashbang the other two. So there's a real chance that by going aggressive we could clear the pack this round. Two shots for 30% again. I know that I can't remove the cover, but I was hoping at least for a grazing hit. Good, let's go for the Rocketeer. We have two shots. And with infantry, I mean, yes, I get it. You don't want to just take any shot, but it's pretty damn important that you take some shots. Unlikely to kill him. to go that deep hard to say so we said 15 enemies right right so we killed three that was eight eleven one more pack remains could 
go all the way over here. Yeah, we don't have a shotgun. I shouldn't forget about that. Just have a normal uh, rifle. Which on the other hand means we have also no problem like shooting from pretty remote positions, like from here. So yeah, we're going aggressive. This here is full cover, half cover at least. And there's a chance that we're even killing it, uh, killing the stun lance uh, immediately. Uh, should have should have moved first with the assault. That was just bad play. Run gun, fortify. Out. Let's kill the Lancer. Very nice. Still worth the flashbang. I don't want to get marked. And here's the overwatch so that he cannot move. Well, he ignores it and moves anyways. And thanks to our great overwatch. Oh shit, wow, that's a really nice hit. Okay, so half cover. This guy should be dead. Ah, one damage short. At least the Overwatch is removed. You can get some placeable. That's good. And time to kill the last unit. Impressed yet? Good. Closing on target. That's eleven now. enemies down. And we got ourselves on top of it a scope, which is good. Give him a heal. On the other hand, we've used all of our heals. And there's one more pack. Orders confirmed. Moving out. It's time to reposition. I mean, we don't have any 
time pressure here. Might as well use that in our advantage. I'm trusting you here. Moving to Overwatch. See Kim moves in. Good copy. Moving on target. Oh yeah. And we are reloading or watching. Ready to go. Affirmative. Covering now. I can handle that. On Overwatch. Good. We haven't yet uh, received any indicators where the last pack might be. But now that we've reloaded and repositioned, I'm more than willing to start going in. Slowly but surely advance. Position confirmed. The Rangers take prime firing positions on both uh, sides. Ghost moves over here. I'm still waiting for the run and gun uh, cooldown to also come back. Go, go, go. Okay, as for our sniper, hmm. Let's position him over here. Difficult call. Over here, I ultimately want to get him to the high ground there. But he now does not even have his seventh uh, tiles distance to everyone. So his aim bonus from Lone Wolf from the ability Lone Wolf doesn't apply, which means we should move everyone a bit further ahead. We know the last pack is somewhere here. No problem, boss. Okay. Moving to designated coordinates. Moving everyone in. Solid full cover. No problem, boss. I'm on it. Best case scenario, the enemy would simply walk into us right now. Taking the full cover over here and a straight view through kind of the tunnel here. No, I don't think that we're alone out here either. It almost looked like the pack was standing right behind the wall. The sound cue was very skewed, so it usually means that they are close. Currently checking if any of these fields are blocked. The answer is no. Maybe I was wrong. Let's 
get a first glimpse. Nothing, okay. Let's get a second glimpse. Okay. Still nothing. Moving Interesting. Out. We do have really solid positions up there. On the move. Matter of fact, our entire position over here is really solid. Okay, hmm. Next turn I would get the sniper upstairs. For now we're fine. Six overwatches. Uh, they are in the middle of the building there. This time the sound cue was clearer. Putting in a slow turn, mainly because I really want the sniper to be in position for what is going to come. I guess that'll be okay. And normally you don't have the time or luxury to do that, but for once, this is a good mission for us. Come on, move into our Overwatch trap. The rookie moves in and starts to scout. Okay, we're very slowly advancing. I was about to put everyone on Overwatch. Oh, through that little hole that has triggered them. Interesting. Okay. Seventy percent for an injury. Yeah, might as well take the precise shot, why not? Auto targeting, okay. Down to one HP. Good. So Well, 
the heck is this guy positioning himself? He must be standing somewhere. Trying to understand how we can flank him. <laughs> Wherever he's standing, apparently we can't flank him. And he's too far away to be charged, okay? Rocky takes a shot. Nice little grazing hit. Good job. Okay. Well, since we can't flank it, I don't want to charge in and maybe pull another pack, so. Just going to take shots. Positive confirmation. Oh, that's it. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. Yeah, I'll talk about the mission just in a second. All right, so let's talk about the mission real quick. It, it was funny again, if you think about it, uh, 14 enemies. So we had like two pretty easy packs, like triple sector, it is nothing. Double sector, <coughs> spectre also really nothing problematic. But then we had like a hardcore pack of eight. What sort of uh, power difference is that, please? Yeah, I think we're not going to go for it. Uh, Kubi, uh, Kubi Kiri is better. I also like Bombardier and Full Kit, which means he can throw grenades pretty far and could take two flashbang grenades just for free. And our rookie has become. Ooh, a Shinobi! Hello there. Good. We got ourselves an Alarium core and a lot of supplies, actually. So that was good. Let's color code the new rookies for a second. I'll do that. Good. Rookies are, have been color coded. Let's dive back into the strategy layer. I think there's one more mission which is outstanding. And then we've done them all. Yeah, right here, destroy the alien relay. Once that is done, I will again do some housekeeping. Oh my god, Vigilance 21 in West Africa, 18 in South Africa. We definitely, uh, once we're, we're done with that mission here, I'll do some housekeeping and sort the weapon mods no, uh, new. So strip all of the weapons, put uh, the weapon mods back into order. Uh, some of the weapons can be optimized just a tiny bit. And we got to do something about liberating at least one of these areas, probably West Africa, 21 uh, vigilance is crazy. We're going to fight against hordes, hordes of enemies. That's a nice little smash and grab there. Let's take a short look about uh, about how far we into that Tango mission. Yeah, because we're kind of at a tipping point where we're almost done with all of the missions. I am considering 
investing some intel, which means we're going to be, again, doing this almost for free. But we're fine on the intel um, part. On the other hand, we want to contact two regions, so maybe I should be a bit more careful. Let me double check how many soldiers do we currently have outside of missions, because maybe I'm doing the housekeeping now. Okay, so the vast majority, as you can see, of all soldiers are ready or wounded. Only a few are infiltrating. We have Haven advisors, but I can take them out of the Haven. That's not a problem. Training is not a problem either. Because I can enter his weapon upgrades and just strip them. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. And then we have a lot of wounded soldiers. So the only ones that are essentially currently not available are a Shinobi Assault Specialist. Yeah, let me do the whole uh, housekeeping just to, to make it more efficient. We are modifying the weapons a bit. All right, after only one and a half hours later, everything's sorted out and finally... The weapon modifications are optimized. That should uh, give us a bit of an edge because the missions are getting tougher and I'm trying to squeeze out every single edge that we can get. Sold a bunch of uh, items on the black market and yeah, I think we're in an okay spot now. Everyone has a uh, pretty solid equipment. I am, as always, absolutely broke if you have a larger roster just like we currently have it it's impossible to outfit everyone like the entirety of our funds just goes for uh, goes into weapons and armor it's crazy it's just going to be worse and worse so we need more income Good, almost done with the radio relay here. They knew what they were getting themselves into when they joined up with your resistance. The elders don't have mercy to spare for anyone. These chosen are constantly hunting us to try and recapture you, Commander, and are spreading terror throughout the resistance as they go. We'll need to pay And we need to go here now. What was that? Ellen Relay? Oh yeah, prevent the data leak. Yeah, that was one of our missions where we just basically infiltrated. That was the last one that we wanted to do. Um, we'll do that in the next run. After that mission, we can finally uh, start doing uh, the towers, the network towers, and liberate uh, the entirety of Africa, hopefully. Thank you as always for watching. Uh, we are having a good momentum here and I like where the campaign is going. Um, as always, leave a like or comment down below. Uh, that would be helpful and see you in the next episode. Bye bye.